What's up everyone, this is Kantanaka Wish for Fish and in this video, I'm gonna be going to East Tennessee and fishing with Jason McReynolds of Flying Soho. Thank you. Now I'm ready. Calling Jason McReynolds, mobile. I just left the house, so I'm running a little late. Oh, dude, it's perfectly fine. You take your time. Stop hitting my car! I'm getting completely annihilated by hail right now. I'm stopped on the highway. This is insane. Let's go. Welcome to Tennessee. In 600 feet, you will arrive at your destination. So I'm guessing he's here. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, I'm back in East Tennessee. I'm with Jason McReynolds, and for some reason, every time I try to plan a trip with him, the weather is less than glamorous. It's freezing right now, but we're going to try to make it work. Starting off, first bow. Very nice one. Woo. It looks like, looked like it. Uh, maybe. Oh my, oh, 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 oh my God. All right, so that was a fantastic start of the trip. Uh, we're gonna take a little siesta, and head back for the evening, and hopefully get into them this evening. We have a little better game plan, and uh, we saw where they were, so hopefully they'll come back there this evening. When you're ready, go ahead. Ready to go down this other way down? Oh yeah. <laughs> what was that? No, 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 he's not, hold on. I'm gonna try to bring him above you. Get him, 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 get him. Yes! There you bring him. Yes! Persistence paid off. Came back, got this butte. Woo! Steak dinner. Oh, yes. Thankfully, we had good success today. We're gonna probably follow the same game plan until we get skunked, and then we'll probably switch it up, but pretty satisfied the way things are going. It's not numbers game, but we're definitely catching some nice fish, so. I also feel that we have a better read on where the fish are located and we have a better game plan, so I have a lot more confidence on tomorrow. So I'm staying at Jason's new acquired farmhouse. This place is awesome. It's a beautiful location. And he's gonna be changing this into like a cabin situation. So it's awesome for the future. And uh, we saw some turkeys over there, and I'm not a hunter, but serious cast and blast opportunities over here.
Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's a beast. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. What? Did you get it? Yes. Yes. First hybrid. First run. Caught this beautiful hybrid. Woo! He was ready. All right, so we just took a little siesta, and now it's time for some round two. We've had some success. We kind of figured out a game plan for the past couple days. Uh, it's been very successful. It's not a numbers game. It's definitely more of a quality versus quantity, but uh, we're going to change it up a little bit. I think tomorrow we're going to go back and try to uh, do what we've been doing, try to get that monster. Here's a quick tip, and that's practice casting over your opposite shoulder. It really comes into handy when you have crosswinds going across your casting shoulder, as well as dodging overhanging trees and getting around structure. All right, so we uh, just got off the water. We finally got the skunk. Uh, we had one frickin' bite, so we're gonna change up the game plan for tomorrow, hit up a different tailwater, and uh, it's known for some big boys, so hopefully we'll get one there. So I don't wanna cook another steak dinner tonight, freaking tired and uh, when you're in East Tennessee gotta go to pals yes I'm gonna get hot dogs what is it like uh, with the chili yeah. all the way yeah that's the way out yeah. Yeah. it's gonna get way out he went with best hot dog in the world I think everything is best in the world for Jason hey <laughs> what a fantastic view looks like a Subaru commercial so we have a late start today. He's gonna pick me up around one, so I have a lot of time today, but those trees, I see some slack lining today. All right, we're back on the water. Yesterday we got the skunk. Uh, our game plan yesterday didn't work out, so we changed it up again. We're on a different body of water, and hopefully we're gonna get into them. That was not, didn't feel like a hit though. I don't know though. <laughs> All right, we were uh, looking for the monster. It wasn't the monster, but I think we're a little spoiled because this is a damn good fish. Look at that. It's a beauty. That is a beaut. I would like to acknowledge something in my fly fishing career for a first, is that uh, it's the first time I've actually worn Crocs with socks. Kind of like fishing in Crocs. Jump in, jump out, put them in turbo, and boom, good to go. Shout out to Mark Crapo. All right, let's go to, uh... <laughs> All right. If I can get, oh! It's a nice fish. What? Good looking. Yes! Nice! That's a decent fish. That's a decent fit. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Watch out, dude. Where is he going? Oh Jesus. 
Is it? Oh, it's a rainbow. Jesus. What's up with all these rainbows? That's a thicky. Yes. All right, here. Ah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Booyah. It's barbecue time. The thing to get is pulled pork. They're pork sandwiches. The what? They're pork sandwiches. Check out this cute little beans thing right here. Tiny, but it's got chunks. Those are some damn good beans. I'm feeling they. Those are some damn good beans. This might be up here with the best beans I've ever had. I mean, that's a weird statement to say. They're good. But they're damn good. Let me taste some of these fries. Makes them taste good. Yes, they are real good fries. Oh, and this is going to be a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, damn good. Yeah. Oh, look at that timing. I got a tree. I got a tree. Oh, no. What? What the? What is that? It's a bass. Is it a bass? I keep saying, no, it's, no, it's a, a bass. I keep saying bass. <laughs> it is an actual bass. <laughs> I caught a bass. Oh my god. Oh. oh man. There's the problem right there. We came back the next day and it was completely different. It was sunny skies and the whole reason we came back is because we moved a lot of fish, we saw a lot of hatches, and today was crickets. What is that? Rainbow? Yeah. Rainbow. Oh, oh, he's, one's chasing it, one's chasing it, one's chasing it. Oh. Yeah, he's a good fish. Let's rock and roll. All right, back on the water. It's time to get this party started. We decided to uh, go back to our roots and try something that uh, we know that where they're at. Hopefully, get into them here. I would not change that fly until we start to get, I would throw something. Oh, got him. 
This fish was a fish of a lifetime, that and when be. I saw the streak, it confirmed that it was an absolute oh. monster. Oh, got him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. Yes. That's like a, that's definitely not a bat, uh, trout. <laughs> Four, it's four. Three, fifty-eight. All right, it's my last day. Time to make it happen. Look, trophy chasing isn't for everyone. Uh, we're pounding streamers, and it's go for broke. But I would rather catch nothing with the chance of catching a fish of a lifetime than to like just catch small fish. It's just not my thing. You know, uh, I'm looking for that trophy. So. Hopefully, I'm gonna get it. Stuttered Bluebeal, here we go. Woo! First pull. Shout out to Noah Stuttered. All right, I missed the brown of a lifetime yesterday, but uh, I did pretty well with the striper, or the hybrid. Hopefully, uh, the trout will be there today. But I don't mind those hybrids, so either way, it's a win-win. Small striper. Oh, wow. Out of here. Right. Oh, yes. Alright. What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. And most importantly, please do subscribe and check the bell for notifications so you can keep up to date 
on our upcoming videos. Now, in this video, primarily I was throwing streamers, but the one chance I did have to throw a dry dropper, uh, I was using my nine foot five weight Thomas & Thomas Avant along with an Able SDF and the Airflow new Ridgetech 2.0 power taper line. Now, for the smaller streamers, I was using a nine foot six weight Thomas & Thomas Sextant along with an Able Super Series reel and a Airflow Streamer Max short line, which has a sinking head but a floating line and has a rate of six IPS so it really gets the fly down there. Now my main rod was a nine foot eight weight Thomas and Thomas sextant and if you noticed it looked a little different with the wraps this was actually a finalized prototype and John Wushenholm's personal rod and thank you very much for letting me use it by the way I didn't have an eight weight so he let me use his personal one so I was using that along with an Able Via and also I was using the uh, Streamer Max short line on this rod as well. Now one thing you have to be careful is that the Streamer Max short does not come with a loop to loop uh, so so I did have to modify it and I put a 60 pound mono uh, with a nail knot and to make a perfection loop just so I could have a loop to loop connection. Uh, I do know that the Ridgetech 2.0 new Streamer Max short line comes with a loop so you'll no longer have to do that. Now for my streamer, you're definitely matching the hatch. And I really liked Christy McReynolds' uh, kitchen sink and that's what I really liked. And I was throwing that towards the end and it really did well. So uh, just anything that is articulated, I think, that moves a lot of water and white will help you out. Now I really enjoy fishing in East Tennessee and now that I live much closer, I will definitely be going back more often. And if you're interested in fishing with Jason McReynolds and Flying Soho, his contact information will be in the description box below. And I'll see you on the water.